Hi there, it's Rob Sayer. Welcome to a series of tutorials, screen tutorials on Vectorworks Spotlight. We're going to cover the basics of drawing in 2D, so a 2D uh, plan uh, with some scenic elements and some lighting elements as well. Uh, Vectorworks is quite a complex program, so we are not going to cover too much in the first few tutorials. We're going to get through to the basics of how to use the program, uh, mainly where things are and how you would find stuff. Uh, tools and things like that. So um, let's get right on with it. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to fire up Vectorworks. The first set of things we're going to do is we're going to look at just setting up uh, your pages and uh, setting up your document how you would like to start drawing. So to start with then, when you're working in Vectorworks, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you get Vectorworks with all the tools and stuff available to you on screen. Um, I've got a few things here. You can see uh, basic the basic tool palette is up here on the on the left hand side. Underneath it, I've got a lot of tool sets, including uh, the spotlight uh, tools. Um, here's a, a few others which are drawing uh, aids, which is the snap snapping uh, palette, and also the fill and line uh, attributes palette. So I've got those two on the left hand side as well, and also here on the right hand side, a very important palette in Vectorworks is the object info uh, browser. So um, if you are looking to set up Vectorworks uh, with all the things that you need, the best place to find uh, all your palettes is under Window, unsurprisingly. And if you look under Palettes, you'll find uh, little checks next, next to all the ones that are open. So as well as the ones I've got open, I want to open the Resource Browser. And also, I'm going to open the Navigation Palette. Now, the Navigation Palette, the Resource Browser is not very important just for this particular tutorial. Um, the Navigation Palette is very important uh, when working with Vectorworks. Uh, it has quite a lot of information on it, as, as is the Object Info Palette. So, uh, so now we've kind of got the screen looking, you know, how we like it. You don't have to work with it this way, but this is just the way I'm having to set, happening to set it up today. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of other parts of the screen before we move on. The top section here, um, just along the top line here where my mouse is going now, um, is a kind of navigation uh, tool set really. So there's lots of things that are in other parts of Vectorworks, including the navigation box down here, that are available up here in the top uh, toolbar. And the most important one really is the views uh, navigation. So there's some zoom options and also where you get to uh, select which view you're looking at. Now we're going to be working in top plan. Top plan is the only two real genuine 2D view in Vectorworks Spotlight. That's the one we'll use for drawing our plan view of theatre stuff. Um, and the other thing that you'll notice here is a scale. Now we're going to talk about scale in a minute, but this is basically uh, the same that the views tool set. Um, there's lots of different things that you'll need quite a lot. Underneath it is a contextual menu. So this part here uh, it changes depending on what you have. So at the moment I'm in 2D selection mode and what I can see is I can see lots of things relating to 2D selection tool. If I change my tool, so I can go down to rectangle, you can see there I've got a different set of tools. So the one underneath the, the views uh, menu or the views tool set is, uh, is, a, is a contextual one which means that it changes every time you change the tool. And knowing that's very important because you'll need that later on. So. So right, what we're going to do is we're going to, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our document, how we want to draw it. Now, Vectorworks can create a document in a number of ways and uh, create views and sheets in a different a number of ways. But basically, to start with, the easiest thing to do is to draw on the document size that you're going to use at the scale that you want it to print out at. So you're going to, in the window here, you're going to effectively create what you want to print out. That's the easiest way to do it to start with, so before you get the hang of all the more complicated options you can do with Vectorworks. So the most important thing is I don't want to know now is I want to draw an A3. So in order to make sure that this piece of paper, it's by grey box around here, is in A3, I need to go to File, Page Setup. I'm going to drop down to Printer Setup. I'm going to check that it's set to A3. I'm going to set it to landscape, which is that one there. That's a bit complicated because they both look like their portrait, but that one's in landscape. And I'm also going to put show page boundary. So show page boundary is that grey line there. If you turn it off, if you don't want to draw on a particular size document, you turn it off. But if you And if you haven't got it, then um, make sure it's checked. If you still can't see it, there's a possibility you're zoomed right in. So, uh, so it might still be there, but... So you can see I've got my page boundary and it's set to A3. The next thing I want to make sure is I want to make sure that I'm drawing to the right scale. Now, up here I've got a little tool, a little box and a ruler that tells me that it's set to 1 to 50. And if I click on the ruler, 
I can select my scale 1 to 1 or 1 to 25, theatre scale is quite common. Um, I'm going to set mine to 1 to 50. Now, if you haven't got that little ruler in the top, uh, top toolbox, um, all you need to do is go and find it. So over here on the right hand side, there's a little arrow. There's a lot of little arrows in Vectorworks and if you click on them it means there's something behind them. So if I click on that little arrow you can see there's a load of different things that you can see in that uh, that toolbox that are available. There's some things that aren't available and if I turn off layer scale you can see it's gone. So if you don't have layer scale in, layer scale in your top uh, tool set you can just flip it on by putting a check, check next to it. Then you go through again and select your 1 to 50 or whatever scale you want and then select, click OK. So when I draw now I'm drawing on a, this A3 sheet and at 1 to 50. The next thing you want to make sure uh, obviously is that if you, the units you want to work in. Now in the UK we work in millimeters usually. In order to set up the units I want to go to File document settings and units and that gives me a load of different uh, parameters that I can set the only ones there's quite a lot of different ones the only ones I'm really really interested in is I'm going to set mine the millimeters and I like to show the unit mark as well so that reminds me what I'm working in and there's a there's quite a handy little uh, aid memoir later on because uh, you can actually enter units uh, different units into the vector X boxes and it will automatically calculate uh, back into millimeters again so so I'm going to go OK, it's got millimetres and show unit mark. So that means now, you can see along the top here, we've got lots of millimetres and they've all got little uh, little unit marks next to them. The ruler along the top here, and there's also one on the side which you can't see because it's hidden by my, uh, by my tool sets, um, is obviously a good way of uh, working out exactly where you are in relation to other things. So we'll talk about that in a bit. But that's So you can now see that the, the rulers are there and so it goes from zero all the way out to 10,000 millimeters there. So that we know kind of the scale is good. If I zoom in, which you can do in a number of ways, why don't we just do it by clicking on the zoom tool, you can see the, the units are changing. The units are getting closer and closer because we're zooming further and further in. So that's kind of a demonstration of how the scale's working. Okay, so we've got our page set up to A3. We've got our scale set to 1 to 50. Um, and we've also set our units to millimetres. Now, accuracy and, uh, and units are very important, obviously, in CAD. That's kind of the point of CAD. So, um, so having set that up, we're quite happy to go on and start looking at navigation uh, of the document. So when you're working in CAD, um, it's kind of a bit like looking through a very small uh, keyhole at a very large room on the other side. You always seem to be having to move your view around and it doesn't matter how big or how, many, how big your monitor is, you still always end up having to keep moving stuff around. So let me just draw a, a quick example. I'm going to draw a, a, just a quick rectangle here. doesn't matter what size it is. And now you see, if I zoom right in like this, I can't see the rectangle and so if I zoom right back out again um, it's there again so you can imagine when you get a very complicated document you could be one minute looking at a very small part of it and the next part you need to be looking at it and you know and it moves around and it kind of drives you absolutely wild and you go okay where's that's actually gone the most important uh, part of the view menu up here the view tool set up here you'll probably need is zoom to document that's the one here with a little uh, magnifying glass and a page if you hit zoom to document you can then see exactly it zooms exactly to your page so if you're struggling to find where you are or you've lost or you've kind of gone off one side of the page or you've done this and you've drawn something miles away like that oh oh no I've drawn a really long rectangle I didn't want to do that um, you can then zoom back to the document and you can see exactly where you are and you get back to back to square one so that's very important the zoom to document tool is very important if you want to zoom in and out provided the uh, the vector which is set up to use your scroll wheel if you've got a center scroll wheel on the mouse, you can zoom backwards and forwards. You can also use the zoom tool in the basic toolbox, which basically gives you a, a chance to zoom in by clicking and pushing forward. I always use my uh, zoom wheel. I think most people who use CAD use their wheels to do that. And the other uh, most important thing about navigating on a um, on a document is being able to move the move the document across so you can see it. So you know what they call a the hand tool Adobe uses a hand tool and there's actually a tool in the basic tool set called pan so you can click on that and you can move 
around like that so you can see what you're doing. You can go to another part, you can then zoom in, you can then do that, and you can zoom back out again. Now that's nice, that little pan tool's great, but there's an even better way of doing it. If you're working on a document and you'll just say you're busy drawing a line, let's draw a line, we've got the line tool open, we're just drawing some lines here, another one, another one like that. If you then want to move around whilst still uh, having that tool selected, if you hold down the spacebar, you can see a little hand has appeared and I'm going to just move across whilst holding spacebar and as soon as I let go of the spacebar I'm back to my line tool again. So that's a really really useful tip with Vectorworks is the fact that you don't actually have to select the pan tool to, uh, to navigate around the document and you can just hold down between, uh, between using the wheel zoom like this um, and also using the spacebar holding down the space bar, you can very easily navigate around whilst not losing your tool set. Um, you can also, if you have a, th if a, 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 your wheel has a button on it on your mouse, you can also hold down the wheel on the mouse and push it about like that. So you've got a number of ways of doing it and, both, and two of the ways don't involve going over to the pan tool and selecting that. So that's a, a good start on how to navigate around a document. So we've got the most important part being zoom to document and then we know where we are. Another little interesting uh, tool on the views and navigation front is uh, that you can actually um, zoom to a particular selection. So I've got that line selected there and there's a next to the zoom to document button there's a button that says kind of zoom to objects. So whatever's selected the zoom will then fit the screen. So you can see my line goes all the way across and disappears upside underneath my toolbars. So if you had a particular set of selections, you could zoom specifically just to them. So um, you can see there's two there, um, two tools there that are very useful when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, finding your way around and also moving around. You know, effectively your your two D world as you're drawing your plan. So that's it really for setting up your document and setting up your palettes. Um, setting scale and your units and also finding your way around a bit. Um, what we'll do when we come next time is we'll start talking about using the tools to draw to scale and to start drawing shapes and to create uh, things in Vectorworks. So we'll see you again then soon.